the, the idea that I want to invest, you know, sort of 50 hours of gameplay in a, you know, a, a story-based thing that's, no, I just don't have that kind of time. So a lot of what I do is uh, pretty much, you know, AO when I get some time, and uh, maybe bugless and AO when I get the time. But uh, Portal, I really enjoyed in TF2. Uh, those guys were, those games were a lot of fun. One box, it was great, a fantastic deal. Uh, anybody else? Yes, sir. Do you guys like Montreal? Uh, I, is that where we are? No, <laughs> 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 it's a wonderful city. And a lot of people have been really just amazingly friendly when we got here. And uh, our new CEO and a lot of the people that were working here have been very welcoming. But uh, moving everything here has been very, very challenging on a, a technical level. Because a lot of the systems that we had that have been working in for like a period of, you know, six, seven years have been put together by people who were no longer there. And having to reverse engineer, yes, reverse engineer all the old systems and try and get them to work was, was really difficult. There's been a lot of hard work that's gone into just being able to make the move. So I'm hoping that, you know, over the summer, uh, we're actually going to get an opportunity to find out where we're living. Because, uh, you know, office, home, office, home, office, home doesn't leave a, a lot of room for sightseeing. But it has been wonderful so far. Uh, looking forward to it. And I'm sorry my friend sucks. It's really embarrassing. My Norwegian's okay, though. <laughs> Anybody else? Well, I'm pretty sure everyone is asking about it in their head, but they're not actually speaking. I would like to have a modified cat that looks like a lead. Would you have the DNA of that little bastard? <laughs> Is there any chance that uh, sometime before the engine and the new engine comes out that uh, any corrections to the maps may be done? You know, like, uh, like the overlap between uh, uh, over the, uh, the river, uh, the Strat River? Um, I'm going to go with unlikely. Okay. Uh, we, we've got a huge amount on our plates right now. And uh, I, I know to everybody in the room, if I, if I handed out a blank piece of paper to all of you and said, write down the single most important bug that you want fixed, I'd get like 100 different answers. Uh, things like that, we're going to put it on the list and we're going to try and get to it when we can. But uh, adjusting the maps, uh, we're going to have to re-export every single play field in the game uh, for the new engine. We have no choice. It's, every play field is going out brand new. Uh, so there's a chance it might fix itself. So we're going to have to wait and see after it goes out. If it's still not where it's supposed to be, then perhaps we'll have to have some time to look into it. But you'll have to tell us what it is again. Just look at God. By the way, this is uh, Chris Liss. He's the guy who has the awesome uh, license plates. Whenever you have the vote on the forums, where he has a Rubica license plate. What's this year? Are you newbie? Yeah. <laughs> Love that thing. Okay, anybody else? I thought we were going to get some break there. For a bit the questions, uh, you don't have any day for the, the engine? No, a lot of person uh, are waiting. Yes, yes. The yeah. anniversary. Yeah. Absolutely, there's a lot of people that are waiting. And I've made a mistake in the past of, you know, speaking to the coders and saying, how long do you need? And they tell me, six months. So I say, a year, fine, we're good. Uh, and we're still not quite there because there's been a lot of it's not their fault, things kept changing, right? If, when the ground's shifting under your feet, it's very difficult to build something. But I'm not going to commit to a date, because then there's a possibility I'll just disappoint people again. We're working on it as hard as we can. So we'll get a chance to look at it today and see where we are. Uh, we're not trying to hide anything. You're going to get 
to see it. Uh, get to ask questions in there too. Like, what were you thinking? You know, that's a good one. <laughs> but it's going to take some time. And now that the uh, the Conan, Conan's uh, new version has been deployed up to Conan, we're getting a lot more help and resources from uh, the main code group in the building. So okay. it's been plausible. So uh, I can't put a number on it, but uh, as soon as we can. But at the same time, not before it's finished. We'll give you two on. months. We know it will come back. We know it will come We've been working on it for a long time. At this point, it's not about, you know, just throw it out when it's close enough or it's got to be stable. It's got to look good. Um, if we put this many years into it, we'll put as much time into it as we have to uh, to make sure it's, it's right. The last thing we want to do is put something out where people are, you know, crashing or stuff like that or there's horrible glaring visual issues all over. It's got to look good, and it's and it's got to work well. And until that that's uh, you know happening, then it's I can't give you a date. When it goes into beta, then we'll have a we'll have a, a period that we're probably going to work with. And I, I don't think that's that far off. Uh, you'll get to see it today, uh, but at the same time, there's still issues, and you're you're going to get to see them today. People just need to review, I think, just to count themselves. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anything's going to calm anyone down except for like being handy with box right now. So we, just, we just need to finish it. We're doing everything we can. Yes. What's the most challenging and satisfying fix that you were able to achieve? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, the most, there could be more than one. Sometimes it's just a part. It's tough because we're literally fixing things all the time. Thousands and thousands and thousands of changes. What is the hardest one. Well, but sir, you want to stick out in your mind. Right? Oh, right. I can't leave you. <laughs> I can't leave you hold that one up. You know? In fact, my favorite thing that I wrote <laughs> was uh, in that the fix. A few years ago, there was uh, an item or a boss that's a stinging witch, and uh, it's in one of the little pocket bosses in Inferno. And has this item on it called the the eye, vanishing eye of this stinging witch. And when you would hit her, there's a chance that you would be teleported somewhere else in the playfield and have to run back to the group. Uh, we have this folder structure we work with. And my folder is C uh, L L N, you know, call it uh, just artificially generated. So when I'm making something and the, the, the tool says where do you want to put it? I go C L L N and then it goes into that folder. And I made a typo. And I put it in C L L E, which was common loot for leets. <laughs> yeah. So a bunch of the players in the, the game were running around wearing 14 of these. <laughs> so you'd be in the battle station, you'd shoot them, and that low percentage chance that was on the boss was you're wearing 25. So you would shoot from the battle station, then you'd be out in space when you went And this was, of course, very funny. But uh, yeah, I remember that one. That was pretty funny because a couple things had to go horribly wrong for that to ever happen. And it took us forever to figure out what was going on because it didn't make any sense. People are being warped up in the space in the battle station. We don't know why. <laughs> Could be anything, but we found it. That was, that was one for me, I guess. Most memorable.